celebrities who had died in 2020. The year 2020. It isn't very old, but we have encountered lots of tragedies, catastrophes, and more heartbreaking events. Sadly, that doesn't rule out the deaths of some of our favorite stars. In this list, we're presenting you some of the celebrities whose lives left them early in the new decade. Max von Sydow Max von Sydow, born in April of 1929 and died on the 8th of March 2020, was a Swedish actor. He had a 70-year career in European and American cinema, television, and theater, appearing in more than 150 films and several television series in multiple languages. He lived in France for the last decades of his life and became a French citizen. He played roles in films like Shutter Island, Star Wars 7, and even had a role in the sixth season of Game of Thrones. James Lipton Louis James Lipton, born September 19, 1926, and died on March 2, 2020, was an American writer, lyricist, actor, and dean emeritus of the Actors Studio Drama School at Pace University in New York City. He was the executive producer, writer, and host of the Bravo Cable Television show series Inside the Actors Studio, which debuted in 1994. He retired from the show in 2018. Lipton died of bladder cancer at his home in Manhattan on March 2, 2020, at the age of 93. Elizabeth Wurzel. Elizabeth Lee Wurzel, born July 31, 1967 and died on January 7, 2020, was an American writer and journalist known for the confessional memoir Prozac Nation, which she published at the age of 27. Her work often focused on chronicling her personal struggles with depression, addiction, career, and relationships. Wurzel's work drove a bloom in conventional writing and personal memoir genres during the 1990s, and she was viewed as a voice for Generation X. In February 2015, Wurzel announced that she had breast cancer, which like many things that happen to women is mostly a pain in the ass, but compared to being 26, crazy, and waiting for some guy to call, it's not so bad. If I can handle 39 breakups in 21 days, I can get through cancer, she said. Wurzel later died in Manhattan from leptomeningeal disease as a complication of breast cancer on January 7, 2020 at the age of 52. Caroline Flack Caroline Louise Flack, born the 9th of November 1979 and died on the 15th of February 2020, was an American television and radio presenter. She began her career as an actress, starring in Bo Selecta, and presented various ITV2 spin-off shows, including I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, Now, and The Extra Factor. Flack won the 12th season of Strictly Come Dancing in 2014. The following year, she began presenting The X Factor and Love Island. She left Love Island in December 2019 after being arrested for allegedly assaulting her boyfriend the tennis player Lewis Burton. On the 15th of February 2020, Flack was found dead in her home in northeast London. The media reported her death as a suicide. Kirk Douglas Kirk Douglas, born December 9, 1916 and died February 5, 2020, was an American actor, producer, director, philanthropist, and writer. After an impoverished childhood with immigrant parents and six sisters, he made his film debut in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers with Barbara Stanwyck. Douglas soon developed into a leading box office star throughout the 1950s, known for serious dramas including westerns and war films. During his career, he appeared in more than 90 films. Douglas was known for his explosive acting style, which he displayed as a criminal defense attorney in Town Without Pity. On January 28, 1996, Douglas suffered a severe stroke which impaired his ability to speak. Doctors told his wife that unless there was rapid improvement, the loss of his ability to speak was likely permanent. After a regime of daily speech-language therapy that lasted several months, his ability to speak returned, but it was still limited. He was able to accept an honorary Academy Award two months later in March and thank the audience. He wrote about this experience in his 2002 book, My Stroke of Luck, which he hoped would be an operating manual for others on how to handle a stroke victim in their family. Douglas died in his home in Beverly Hills, California, surrounded by family, on February 5th, 2020, at the age of 103. The cause of his death, however, was kept private. Kobe Bryant Kobe Bean Bryant, August 23rd, 1978 to January 26th, 2020, was an American professional basketball player. As a shooting guard, Bryant entered the National Basketball Association directly from high school and played his entire 20-season professional career in the league with the Los Angeles Lakers. Bryant won many accolades, 5 NBA championships, 18-time All-Stars, 15-time member of the All-NBA team, 12-time member of the All-Defensive team, 2008 NBA Most Valuable Player, 2-time NBA Finals MVP winner, one regarded as one of the greatest players of all time. He led the NBA in scoring during two seasons, ranks fourth on the league's all-time regular season scoring and all-time postseason scoring lists, and at 34 years and 104 days of age, Bryant became the youngest player in league's history to reach 30,000 career points. Bryant died at the age of 41, along with his 13-year-old daughter Gianna and seven others in a helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. Nick Gordon 
Nicholas Chad Gordon, born October 24th, 1995, and died on January 1st, 2020, is an American professional baseball shortstop in the Minnesota Twins organization. He was drafted by the Twins in the first round of the 2014 Major League Baseball Draft. Gordon attended Olympia High School in Orlando, Florida. As a junior in 2013, he was the Florida Gatorade Baseball Player of the Year. He later signed a letter of intent to play baseball at Florida State University. At the age of 30, after playing for years professionally, Gordon died from a reported drug overdose on New Year's Day. As you can see, lots of really good and important people died this short decade. We can only pray for them to rest in peace, and our sincere condolences to all of their relatives.